Hello, I'm Secretary of Transportation Anthony Fox. It's estimated that right now, around the world, there are more than 27 million people being held against their will. 27 million people who every day are being traded, sold, coerced, or forced into labor or prostitution. All victims of modern day slavery, and many of them are right here in America. That's why I want to echo President Obama's call for us to renew our commitment to bringing an end to human trafficking. The President has proclaimed January National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. We at the Department of Transportation are committing to making not only that month, but every month a month of action. We have a responsibility to make sure that America's roads and rails and other routes of transportation are not being used to traffic people into slavery. That's also why DOT has brought together private and public stakeholders and formed the Transportation Leaders Against Human Trafficking Partnership. To date, we've trained almost all of our 55,000 U.S. DOT employees to identify and report instances of human trafficking. And together with the Department of Homeland Security, we're also preparing thousands of other transportation-related workers, too. Amtrak, for example, has committed to training its 20,000 employees. And under our Blue Lightning initiative, airlines have established reporting protocols and are training frontline workers as well. But all of us can and must do more. The open road and sea and sky have always been places where people feel free. It is up to us to make sure they actually are. So please take a moment to learn about the signs of human trafficking. Learn who to call when you see something that's not quite right. Because what you see could literally set someone else free. If you suspect human trafficking, please call the National Human Trafficking Resource Center at 1-888-373-7888. Only together can we put the brakes on human trafficking. Thank you.